Hello folks, welcome to a rather unusual type of video today. Don't be fooled, this is not a race sim as such. We're still in Microsoft Flight Simulator. However, <laughs> this is Burning Blue Design's Goodwood Aerodrome and it's that detailed that you can actually drive around the racetrack, particularly in VR, and it feel incredibly realistic, apart from the physics of the car, which uh, isn't really anyone's fault, including the flight sim, because it's a flight sim, not a race sim, but it would be kind of cool to have a car that has decent physics, because I'm actually uh, steering with my rudder pedals here. So I just had to try this, and I was absolutely shocked by the feeling of being there. I mean, for instance, the undulations of the track are really there. And what I mean by that is there's a crest, and you can see the sort of hill of the head there. You won't be able to see that in VR actually, which is a shame, but I can see how the track kind of dips away and it, not even that guys, look at this. You've got all of the um, signals of the um, racetrack. So all the signs and everything are all true to the real life signs and I've totally messed that up there. And we've also got other cars racing around the track. How amazing is that? Now I just want to apologize to Burning Blue Design because my sort of first impressions video didn't really do this scenery justice even though it did look amazing it actually looks even better unfortunately the file that I was using was a bit corrupt for whatever reason so some of the things wasn't being shown correctly but hopefully you can see I mean bear in mind I am in VR so it might look a bit stuttery and I do apologize for that but you know what this is the way to do it and this is the way to showcase how incredibly detailed this scenery is I mean look you can even see the apex of the corner and the tires I can see sort of littering the barriers at really high resolution it's incredible isn't it that you can do this in a flight sim in fact how cool would it be if you could fly here say in your TBM or Kodiak and then jump out of your aircraft and then go take a Ferrari around this uh, you know for a spin around this racetrack that would be amazing all in real time without having to load it up again and look how good it looks that is incredible. I'll have links in the description below where you can find Burning Blue Design's latest masterpiece, that is Goodwood. And uh, do you know what I think we should do, folks? Arrange a community race event. You know, let's do this. It'd be so funny to have a live stream of us all trying to race each other and maybe have different heats or something. I just think we've got to find some better cars. But please do let me know in the comments if you're interested in doing that. Because I think for the first time ever, there's a scenery out there that is that detailed down to ground level that you can actually enjoy really walking around or in this case racing around the actual track that you would in real life. It's pretty damn cool. I love this. Even though my skills are terrible. Part of that is that I'm using rudders to try and steer with which is impossible. But uh, look you can even see where the marshals are. I cannot get that corner to save my life. I cannot do it. And I've just been overtaken yet again. This is where the future of VR is, in my opinion. I think there should be a time where we're able to be inside a world that is both a race sim and a flight sim and God knows what else. And you can just be inside that world. This is just so good. Right, can we get in there? The only thing is, I think this car is a little bit big. I think it's a bit overscaled. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat and just go through here. Whee! Look at that. That guy in his BMW is still enjoying uh, doing donuts. Don't blame him. Right, now we're on the uh, flight line here. It actually feels kind of weird like I'm going to get told off of this. Because look at the detail here. I mean, look at this. There is the beautiful Spitfire there. We've got Martin over there with his Doberman dogs. Hello buddy, how you doing? <laughs> and as you can see from my first impressions video, some of the scenery was a bit dodgy. That was completely my fault. Um, fortunately the file that I was using wasn't, uh, it didn't fully download properly, which is weird. So there was a bit of a glitch there. But before I end the video, let's just have a look at this unlikely chap. Burning Blue Design has very graciously added me into the scenery again. Do you know what? I get around, don't I? I hope Burning Blue Design is paying for my fuel for the bike because, I mean, I've managed to get to Martha's Vineyard and now to Goodwood Aerodrome. So I get about, to be fair. It's quite a likeness. 
still looking lost, still looking very, very uh, scruffy there. Now, if you do find me in this scenery, folks, please do let me know and post a screenshot on my Discord channel. <laughs> Probably win a thousand VR flight sim guy internet points, which are completely useless, but it'd be kind of funny anyway. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Do buy this scenery because of all of the scenery packages I have shown on the channel, this is by far the best. It's a new standard, really, to be honest. And uh, do yourself a favor, go grab yourself a sports car and go and race around the track in VR. It's so much fun. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye for now.